In this video, we demonstrate the PDF underlay insert tools that are now a part of TurboCAD 2019. The PDF tools provide multiple features for TurboCAD users that include the ability to create PDF underlays, import PDFs as editable data, and provides full compatibility when sharing AutoCAD DWG files with underlay object data, plus the ability to import native Adobe Illustrator files. Let's review how to create PDF underlays in TurboCAD 2019. PDF underlays allow you to insert pages from PDF files into your drawings to use as references. Data in PDF files consists of raster images, vector data, and text. If the PDF file contains vector data, you will be able to reference the data using snaps such as endpoints and midpoints. If the PDF contains raster data, you will be able to use the image as reference to trace out lines, arcs, and splines. Let's step through the process of inserting a PDF underlay that contains vector data. First note that the underlay insert tool consists of two parts, setting the underlay style and then the insertion point. Let's go ahead and open the underlay manager from the tools menu bar. Click the new button to create an underlay style. Click the browse button to pick a PDF file. Now you'll see a list of pages from the selected PDF and a preview picture for each page. If your PDF contains multiple pages, you will see and select the desired page here. Select the page and enter a name for your underlay style. Click OK and now you'll see the underlay style is added to the styles list. Click OK to complete this process. Now that we have an underlay defined, let's insert the underlay into our drawing. From the menu bar, select the Insert Underlay command. Select the underlay style that we want to insert. Next, click to define the left bottom corner of the underlay insertion. Move the cursor to define the right top corner and click. Now that we have our underlay, let's create a line snapping between several points. Let's zoom in on the tail area, select the line tool, and move over a vertex and create our start and end point of our line referencing those points from the underlay. Next, let's demonstrate how to explode an underlay into its basic components of lines and arcs and circles. First, I'll select the underlay, and then I'll go to the Modify Explode command. I'm also going to display the Tools, Palettes, Selection Info palette. This shows me any grouping still around for the underlay. And now I'm going to continue to select the area that I want broken down completely and use my Command key to explode this area. And we'll basically just keep exploding our group of graphics until we break it all the way down into individual lines, arcs, and circles. Let's zoom up and continue to explode this section of the tail until we break it all the way down to our individual line. Underlays also support raster or image data. With raster data, you will not be able to snap to endpoints. In this case, you will need to trace over the boundaries with lines, arcs, or splines. Let's bring in an underlay with raster data and demonstrate. As before, we'll create an underlay style using a PDF and then insert into our drawing. Now, let's zoom up to an area we want to trace. Select the Spline tool and start digitizing vertices on the boundary. The next feature related to working with PDFs is the Import PDF Page as Vector Graphics command. This tool will import the PDF immediately as editable objects. Let's demonstrate by importing the same PDF file we earlier used as an underlay. First, select the Tools, PDF Tools, Import PDF Page as Vector Graphics command. Now, select your PDF file, click Open. 
select the page that you want to import and then finally the insertion point starting with the lower left and then upper right corner. Note that our selection info palette now displays group of graphics and by expanding it we can see all of the components that make up the group. As before if we select our group of graphics and use the modify explode command we can remove the group and access directly our graphics. Another important feature of the PDF tools is the ability to support the underlay object that is part of the AutoCAD DWG file format definition. DWG underlays import and behave the same as if they were placed into the drawing using the TurboCAD underlay insert tool. Let's demonstrate by opening a DWG file that contains an underlay. We'll go to the file, open, select files of type DWG, select our file, open, and you'll see the underlay is preserved inside a TurboCAD, including if you look at the selection info where we see the type is underlay. And lastly, we'll demonstrate a tip for those of you working with Adobe Illustrator files. Adobe Illustrator native file format created after version 7 is actually just a PDF file. To read one of these files into TurboCAD, just change the extension from .ai to .pdf. Now, go back into TurboCAD, go to the tool, PDF tools, import PDF page as vector graphics, select the renamed Adobe Illustrator file, select the page, and then the insertion point. And now we can zoom up on our imported Adobe Illustrator data and actually work with the imported data as TurboCAD splines, polylines, and text.